Hey guys, this is Gavinelli and welcome to another Hackintosh video. You know, uh, right before I got hospitalized in February, I had shot some video footage, uh, lots of video footage. Some stuff you may get to see, some stuff you may not get to see. Because while I was in the hospital, I was like, oh man, I shot that awful damn footage. When I get out, I got to do it over. But anyway, um, the footage that you're about to see, the archive footage, is basically me talking about the motherboard that I purchased, which was this. Now, I don't want to tell you too much because I don't want to take away from the archive footage. Now, when I talk about the uh, gigabyte board that I'm, you know, I'm comparing it to, it's this one. Remember this board? For all my regular viewers, for the viewers that are new, I bought this board. Uh, was it last year, guys? I think it was last year. I bought this board last year for my i5 Hackintosh, and I ran into a few issues. And um, if you want to see those videos of, of the issues I ran into and how I dealt with them, I, I think I'll post the link in the, uh, in the video. But anyway, without further ado, let the archive footage begin. Hey guys, it's Gavinelli and welcome to another Hackintosh video. Let's get right into it. Uh, last year I built a Hackintosh and I went with this motherboard right here. And I went with this processor right here. Alright, can you see that? Okay, now, here are the updates. Uh, I like the board. The board is very uh, overclock friendly. And uh, it's got some great performance to it to a degree. Um, I like the processor. Uh, the, this is not the best uh, i5 uh, you can get, of course, but nevertheless, it's, a, it's a i5. It's pretty damn good. And um, anyway, here are the issues. The issues are first thing I noticed was when I installed OS X on here, my hard drive icons were orange. Now, here's the problem with that your internal hard drive icons should be gray and your swappable or external hard drive icons should be orange everything that popped up was orange and then sometimes hard drive was, drives was going in and going out uh, I searched for Kex online and I found them I even did a video to show you guys uh, the little Kex package I, I put together to, uh, to fix that the, the issues with disappearing drives and uh, orange icons that shouldn't be orange so I fixed all that um, another issue I'm having is I, I've been looking for the proper audio kecks for this thing I got the audio working for the back ports which is the onboard ports but for like if you have a if you have a case with the ports built into it in the front I cannot get those working no matter what I do and you don't want to you don't want to risk trying uh, kecks after kecks after kecks because you can get the wrong kex and cause a kernel panic and I'm not talking about a temporary kernel panic, a fixable kernel panic I'm talking about a permanent panic I'm talking about a panic that you have no comprehension of fixing those kind of panics now uh, what's the next issue I had with this board uh, let's see audio uh, the icons uh, oh yeah oh yeah and um when I install lion on here everything will be fine the next thing you know panic get it resolved boot it up everything's fine panic get it resolved boot it up panic and it wasn't like panic like that it'd be everything's fine for hour one hour two hour three hour four hour five panic get it resolved and 12 hours go by you think everything is good you think you fixed the problem panic so that just totally kills the whole Hackintosh or OS X experience. So I even did this with Mountain Lion. Same issue. I had to end up um, installing Snow Leopard. And so far, Snow Leopard has been going strong. Now, I never had that problem with this board. And I never had that problem with this board. Okay? So here's the deal. I was recently in Washington, D.C. Uh, a few weeks ago, and you know I had to stop at Micro Center. 
because there's not one here uh, in North Carolina at all. Yeah, we screwed. So I stopped in there and I picked up this motherboard. Now I got I got into a nice little discussion with a guy named Aaron at Micro Center. Cool guy. I don't let people know who I am when I walk in the store. I just act like I don't know shit about what I'm doing. I like to do that because I like to see where people are coming from. Now, Aaron says uh, he brought up Tony Mac's website. And he was like, you know, Tony Mac uh, clearly states that uh, gigabytes are the boards to use. They're the, they're the best kinds to use and da 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 and then he goes on and he, he, you know, he pretty much tells me about the, the failings of the new Asus boards and stuff like that. And, of course, you know, I didn't want to hear that. But I listen. And I don't recall anything negative being said about these boards. But anyway, he was, you know, pretty much talking me out of not getting an Asus board and getting another gigabyte. When I explained to him the issues I had before, he was like, well, you know... We don't even sell these models, the Z68 models anymore. Um, so, you know, Gigabyte is improving on this and improving on that and improving on this. And, you know, for all you know, you might have had a great experience with an Asus board. What makes you think you're going to have that same experience now? Well, this is where the fun part of this video comes in. I would hate to buy another Gigabyte board and it's the same situation. I'd rather prove myself either right or wrong. I'd rather prove that, hey, what I said about never having that type of problem that I'm having with the Gigabyte boards would ever exist on ASUS. I'd rather prove that statement to be right or wrong. That's what it's all about. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. If I'm right, that equals more views and more uh, subscribers. And that shows you that uh, I know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, I've installed OSX, as you see, it's ready. Um, all I had to do was just put my little thumb drive in with a uh, mountain lion on it and uh, just install. Okay, no problems, no panics, or none of that other stuff. So, let's go ahead and see, do we get the orange icons? All right. Look at that. No orange icons. So let's pass the first test. You guys got to see this. Um, I went to go put in my username and my password in iCloud and it worked. I haven't even installed MultiBeast yet. So just to prove it to you, I'm going to do it again. That is crazy. I guess you're probably like, man, these Hackintosh videos by Gavinelli has gone down to shitter. The quality is just, it's just going down. It's just going to shit. Bye y'all. Bye y'all. Bye y'all.